short sales, Ryan. I can't even believe we're, <laughs> we're talking about this. So it's starting to pop up in conversations that we are having with our clients. So let's talk about it today. The the what, the why, the who, the when, the how, the process, the waiting period, all the things that involve a short sale. So I'll let you take it away. Yeah, it really has, Dana. It's been a while. You know, we, we were hearing this a lot a while back, and now we're starting to hear short sales kind of pop up again. You know, they were much more prevalent after home prices dropped in, in the 2008 recession, you know, but but now, you know, there, there can be cases where some buyers purchase a home, but for unexpected reasons, you know, they have to sell pretty quickly. And sometimes, you know, they haven't lived in the house long enough to build equity that they need really in, in order to sell and cover the closing costs associated with selling. So in these cases, short selling is an option. And what it is, it, it's when a seller's mortgage company agrees to accept a lower payoff than what is actually owed on the mortgage. So let's just say, for example, you know, a couple purchases a home for four hundred thousand dollars. You know, they put minimum down three percent, and uh, they have to sell only a few months later, and the market changed a little bit. You know, which it kind of has. We're seeing that. You know, there's more listings, and maybe they can only get three eighty for it. You know, so after closing costs, the seller really won't be getting enough to pay off that mortgage completely. So if they can't really make up the difference, what they have to do is go to the bank and request a short payoff, their mortgage bank. So basically. The bank is accepting less than what's owed. So this process can take a bit. All banks have a process that they go through to approve the short sale. It could take two to four months. And, you know, sometimes they could even not approve it. They could actually counter, meaning they could ask for more from the seller before approving it. So, you know, but for buyers, because sometimes you can get a good deal from the bank if they're willing to approve a short sale. So it, it's it could be a good option for buyers if you see that opportunity. But if you're a seller and you're considering this, it's important to know that you know a short sale is still considered derogatory on your credit even if you never missed a payment and to purchase again sometimes you'd have to wait maybe two to, th uh, to four years so it's important to remember you know if you are a seller before deciding to do this you know to really see how that it is going to impact you before buying another so there's a lot to consider on both sides but it is something we're seeing more of and it's something to be aware of that's out there yeah we're actually working with a client right now that's uh yeah, yeah there we're we're representing the buyers so yeah. And the, the process can take a little bit longer. You know, we're, we're looking at like 45 days right now is what we agreed to for closing. So again, that, that can take a little bit longer as well. So if you have any questions, you guys on this process, sell by definitely re reach out to Ryan or I, and thank you for this great tip, Ryan. You bet. Thanks everyone. See you next week.